All right, here we go. So for this highly scientific experiment, uh, I'm going to run these 10 rounds, 10 rounds of kind of, of uh, this is Federal 308 Winchester, just, just kind of standard brass casing 308 Winchester through. We're going to take uh, an infrared photo of the barrel, the outside of the barrel. We're also going to take an infrared photo of the, of the chamber and also of the brass, uh, the final brass, the 10th brass. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna give it a minute, give everything a minute to cool down a little bit, and then we'll do the same thing with polymer ammunition, see how it compares. All right, we ready to go? Also, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. We'll see how well that goes, uh, but uh, I'm not gonna get super fast. I'm not get, there's not gonna be a big difference between the first set of 10 and the second set of 10. So, should be good. Here we go. Round one, fight. Am I allowed to switch shoulders? All right, so we gave the barrel a little bit of time to cool off. It is now cool to the touch. Well, I mean, it's not cool because it's, again, daylight and 95 freaking degrees out here, but uh, it is much cooler than it was when we stopped. So we took some before pictures of the barrel to see the temperature there. Now we want to compare where it's at now to where it is when we're done shooting 10 rounds of the true velocity polymer cased ammunition. So my theory, my guess is the barrel is still going to be maybe just as hot, probably just as hot. It's going to get just as hot as it did before, but the chamber is going to be a lot cooler as we discovered in our last video that we did. So curious to see what the thermal camera tells us is the difference, is the full on difference and get some actual uh, hard data on that. That's going to be great. I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started. My shoulder is super anxious to go 10 more rounds of 308 on this. So we couldn't actually see the photos on set. We had to wait till we got back so that we could download them and take a look at them there. So uh, that's why I'm going to talk through this this way. So let's take a first look at the uh, chamber after we shot the brass cartridges. Okay, so this is the shot that we got right after we'd fired 10 rounds of the brass casing. You can see uh, there that the chamber uh, is... Oh, probably about 120 degrees, looks like, based on that reading. It's a, it's very hot, very, very hot. Um, and you can also, what's really interesting is you also see the stock. Uh, the, the, uh, the stock of the rifle there is also extremely hot. Now, some of these readings, I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about how to read these types of things. I'm relying on what uh, the, the uh, Nate told me on how he uses them. So I don't really know why, for example, the barrel is showing as a deep blue or a very cold color. I don't understand that. Uh, but he assures me that this should be fairly accurate. So we'll keep on going. So that's what it looked like after 10 rounds of the brass casing. So then this is what it looked like 10 rounds after the polymer casing. So you can see that the chamber is noticeably cooler. It's probably, according to this, maybe 20, 30 degrees cooler, uh, which is pretty pretty incredible, especially since I, I shot the 10 polymer rounds, rounds a little bit faster than I did the 10 brass rounds. So that's really interesting. But what else is very interesting is that the stock is a lot cooler as well. And that would be, you know, the stock would heat up a lot because of, you know, the barrel, uh, the heat coming from the barrel, which again, I don't know why is blue. Uh, but the fact that it's not as hot means that I may have been wrong in my assumption that the barrel would get just as hot with the polymer as it would with the brass. So here's a look at them side by side. Um, this is, uh, you know, on the left, we've got what it looked like after the brass. And then on the right, we've got what it looked like after the polymer. And you can see that there is definitively... A, a noticeable so significant difference in the temperatures there. So I thought that was super cool and I just wanted to talk through that. 
All right, so that is another video on the uh, True Velocity Polymer Ammunition 308 Winchester. And that was a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments.